Hey, welcome to Broken World Entertainment. And Nate Moore has let the mask slip even more on Marvel Disney. As Marvel Studios producer considers it a red flag if prospective writers are fans of original comics. Prefers to hire someone who's out of the culture. Oh my. So basically, they are confirming they don't want anyone who knows and understands the source material. So, let's look at this, shall we? This is over at Bounding Into Comics and they write, As if it wasn't obvious enough from simply watching any of the studio's post-Infinity War outings, producer Nate Moore has revealed that he believes the key to Marvel Studios' success is hiring writers who are out of the comic book culture over anyone who loves the source material. Moore, whose career has seen him serve as a producer for such Marvel Cinematic Universe entries as Captain Marvel, oh, sorry, Captain America, I don't know why I got Captain Marvel, <laughs> Civil War, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and most recently, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, shared his insight into Marvel Studios' hiring philosophy during an appearance on the November 16th episode of The Ringers, the town podcast. The hell is The Ringers town podcast? Do you know the only thing I can think of when I hear The Ringers is that Johnny Knoxville movie when he uh, joins the Special Olympics. <laughs> uh, speaking with host Matthew Bellany, Bellany, I think it's Bellany, about his general experience working for the Disney subsidiary, Moore was eventually asked if there was some kind of a Marvel boot camp. Or something that you do with these filmmakers to integrate them into this world and knowing all the things that they need to know. To which the producer confirmed, not really. Explains a lot, doesn't it? Noting that some Marvel writers grew up reading and collecting comics such as Avengers Endgame co-director Joe Russo and Black Panther director Ryan Coogler more told Bellany one thing I think is interesting and specifically for writers I would say is that a lot of times we're, pi we're pitched writers who love Marvel and to me that's always a red flag Jesus Christ so someone who understands the characters and the world you think is the red flag. So let's hire people who haven't a clue. Probably don't even know what Marvel is. They probably walk and go, so do we get to use Batman? Jeez. I don't want you to already have a pre-existing idea of what it is because you grew up with the comics and that's what you want to recreate. Oh, you mean like the stories people love? Well, okay. I want someone who's going to be hard on the material. Who can go, what is this? I think there's a movie here. But maybe we should be looking at it in this way. Keep in mind, this is the same jackass who said Wakanda Forever is like the Godfather. Offering up an example of what he was looking for in a prospective writers, more than pointed to Captain America trilogy writers, Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, who weren't comic guys coming up, but were like, wait, Captain America, this seems a bit weird. What if we kind of looked at it in this way? Okay. And they weren't married to anything. Anything, nothing was. What? 
I don't know. It's whatever way he's saying that is just all over the shop. He's basically saying they're not married to the, like, the actual stories of Captain Marvel or America. Why do I keep saying Captain Marvel? I think that's important to be able to go, look, the source material is great and I love it. And comics work great in the medium they were built in. But that's not a direct one-to-one translation to the best version of the movie, he asserted. And sometimes it takes someone who's out of the culture to go, hey, I know you think it should be this, but maybe it should be this other thing. Turning to provide further support for his argument, more than put forth for Ragnarok <laughs> and Love and Thunder. Director as a great example of that too. Because he was like, hey, I know Thor traditionally is a bit stiff, a bit Shakespearean, but what if you tweaked it? What if you tweaked the tone completely? And that's why Love and Thunder completely bombed. So much so that Chris Hemsworth says, has basically said he's refusing to work with Taika Waititi again and is going to take a break from acting. Ah, the tone of Ragnarok is, is all Taika because he wants, he wants Mary to tour. Well, wasn't, sorry. Jesus Christ. He wasn't married to Thor on the page, concluded the producer, believing himself to be complimenting the director rather than hitting the nail on the head as to why many fans have been turned off by what what Tidy's take on the God of Thunder. (coughs) Excuse me. I haven't read every Thor book. I have read a lot. I couldn't tell you of a run. That is totally anything like Ragnarok. So he's basically just talking out of his arse again. But now we're seeing why Phase 4 in particular has just fallen off a cliff. When it's, hey, should we bring in people who know the source material, know these characters and know what they would and wouldn't do? Yes, he's right in one sense where it's like, some of the guys would be like, hey, this is great on paper, but I don't think it would translate to a movie. Yeah, but you take the essence of what's in there and you transfer it to the movie. There is the success built right there. There's the story to follow. Follow. You don't have to make it exactly word for word, page for page, what it is in the comic. But you follow that story. You use that narrative. You use the characteristics of them and you build on that and voila you'll get something that people love because they've always loved it that's why the comics were successful but this dipshit is out here going hey people who like the comic books that want to work for us yeah that's a red flag what an idiot hey <laughs> that phase four is just finished and it's finished as a disaster are you looking forward to phase five yet Knowing this now. Anyway, with this one, I'll leave it here for this. Cheers. I'll catch you in the next one.